YouTubers, Electric Adventures here with another pickup video. Um, this one is a package from the Netherlands. Look in the box there, and it's for my favourite retro computer system. In other words, the MSX computers. Um, so there we go, we've got some uh, Netherlands Air. And everything is actually packed really well. Um, now, I believe some of these were listed a little incorrectly and are actually for the original Spectre video and that might be the ones that I have in my hand at the moment. And um, I don't think anybody else is interested in them because uh, I got these particular ones very cheap. There were other titles the person was auctioning off. Um, I pretty much got these all for the starting bid. Uh, no other bidders and some other titles which were quite interesting went for more expensive because it was in euros and uh, we don't get very good conversion of euros and already knew the postage was going to add up to a bit so I was very careful so this one and it is for the original Spectre video so it's nice getting one I don't know if they'll work or not looks like it's had a little, maybe a little bit of damp in storage but it is it's too much clear maybe three dimensional tic-tac-toe now, knowing a lot of original Spectre video um, titles, this, that one, uh, you know, some of these will be written in BASIC, so. Now another interesting one is one from uh, the actual club over there as well, and uh, yeah, definitely for 318 and 328, um, and at least 728 as well, so maybe they've got double versions on there. Um, there might be some utilities and stuff like that, but it's some applications. It's really small writing. Oh, it almost did it. Yeah, so it's Vertel Programmer, Utilig in basic code, protocol in basic code. So it'd be interesting to see what the, um, the applications are, as long as the tape loads. And um, yeah, the first bit could be machine code. So interesting. Let's, I mean, I'd better show you the inside as well, because it's not a normal stuff for the original Spectre video. They, I mean, Spectre video themselves didn't bring out a lot, because obviously the MSX standard got ratified based on their machine. Um, but that, that, you know they changed a couple of things, so they you know switched off from doing stuff for the original Spectre video and switched over to MSX, and all the titles they were expecting to come out from the MSX partners didn't come out for the original Spectre video. So that looks pretty good stuff, you know, something compared to my own efforts back then. Now another one that I don't have is AccuType, so it's a well actually that rings a bell. I might actually have this one, but that's okay. If I do have any of these, I'm sure they'll probably end up going back to the Netherlands to somebody I know there who would appreciate them. Um, and last but not least, no, I don't have this one, is and it's title number one, Sea Hunter. Bound to be a bit game in basic rather than machine code, but we can always hope surprises are always great. Oh, that's for MSX. So this is one of the titles for MSX. It probably is in basic. So, so there was one in MSX, that's why they thought, uh, and that's why I don't recognise that one. So this one was, is there any date on these? No. Very poorly printed, a little blurred. Anyway, let's move on to the next one, which will be an MSX title. So it's just absolute bonus coming across some original spec video stuff. And... This is a title that was popular on um, the Spectrum. Um, I believe there's an Amstrad version and probably a Commodore 64 version. And I remember having this back in our store where I used to work. I don't think I ever got a title myself. I do remember playing it. It's off Widdiskin Monty. So it's a platformer game in the Manic Miner vein. We've got screenshots from various systems on the back there. Might even be showing the Spectrum screenshots rather than the MSX screenshots. It's a um, a tape game. Oh, and how about this? It's complete. It's even got the little badge. Obviously the tape. But it also has 
the instructions and the original registration card. So um, I like platform games, so that's a nice one. To, that was one of the ones that attracted me to the lot in the first place. Um, there seems to be more items in here than I remember, but let's... Okay, now the next one is, um, I'll have to try and get this price, well, not really price, they like item stickers off, and it's Venom Strikes Back. Bound to be another straight spectrum conversion, but there's nothing wrong with it at the end of the day. There you go. So it's another sort of platform game, looks quite colourful. Gremlin were quite good at supporting the MSX as well. And I actually have Tetris for the MSX2 as a tape game, but this is actually the original MSX cassette version. Looks in, I mean, besides having a bit of sticker hell, looks like it could be quite good. From Mirrorsoft. mistake on the loading instructions that was actually quite common so that loading instruction will not work and there's another little loose thing in here now oh, here we go I get Microsoft Mirasoft sorry Microsoft are giving away a special four-day holiday for two people in Moscow do you think it's too late to enter the competition might be it's cool that it has all, you know, these games have all of the loose items that came with them. So, another one we can have a play with. And there is more. Now, very well wrapped. Each one individually. And this one looked interesting because um, it looks like a clone of another popular game. So it's called Trantor. I've seen his catalogues but I don't think we've ever played this one. Running through caverns and different weapons. Graphics look pretty good. Amstrad version, okay. Screen sorts from Spectrum version. So they're the Amstrad and probably be closer to the um, Spectrum because usually they were straight ports. Right, so just tape inside this one. There's some handwritten instructions on there. That's very cool. And there's more in here. These last two, I'm not sure what they are. Ah, okay, right, it's more from the Spectre Video Fun Dog. So we have another copy of Spectron which is actually a really good Space Invaders come Galaxian not quite Galaxian but a game that came out when the original Spectre video came out really good game I actually have multiple copies of this um, so if anybody who has an original Spectre video don't have a copy um, I'll test this out just message me if you do a trade um, oh here we go it's an interesting one, an MSX emulator. Runs on the 328. So you load the MSX and then. Mm, interesting. So there it is, it's a tape. That will be a good, fun one to play with. Because um, there was actually a um, plug in adapter the original Spectre video that allowed you to play most MSX games on it. Uh, it basically just had a MSX cartridge port um, and had the um, you know a, a different set of ROMs so you could run MSX basic and things like that. It didn't do everything correctly and it would only work on a 3 to 8 not a 3 one 8 um, This might be a tape version of the same thing that somebody got hold of. 
really cool stuff. I especially love grabbing stuff like that. So just a double check that I haven't missed anything. I don't remember anything else. Um, so quite a lot there. Uh, no guarantees all of these will load of course, um, but I'll do my damnedest and let's go and have a good play with them. Alright, second time lucky. Um, I this up the first time, uh, couldn't work out the controls and accidentally pressed no to replay a game and it reset the computer so I had to load it again. Um, so let's go into this. It uses weird keys. Let's just put it that way. Oh. And it's almost like it's um, written in music off that annoyed the piss out of me last time. Um, I think this might be a title written in um, basic or compiled basic maybe. But as you can see it, um, it's a reasonably good ah, messed up. A reasonably good Tetris clone. The rotate doesn't always. The very fact that it doesn't respond sometimes. Um, pretty stuff there. So it goes and does the wrong thing sometimes. But we won't spend too long on that. I mean, it's a perfectly acceptable version of Tetris. The controls are a bit stupid though. So, all right, let's try the next game. Right, so next we have Venom Strike Back. Um, at least tries to do a fast loader, but we have defined keys, which is great. The keys in the, um, in the interior look pretty spaz. Press follow. Up, down, left, Perfectly good directional keys in an MSX machine. Okay, so this is a Direct Spectrum port, so we're not going to expect too much. Just seeing if there's attribute clash there. Okay, so up to jump, down crouches. Space does nothing at the moment. Right, we've picked up that power thing, and oh, I've got to press diagonal to um, to jump. A little hard with direction keys. I'm just interested to know. Yeah. There we go, much easier to... Right, so you can make yourself invulnerable for a little while. Okay, so we've got a... Whoops. I think that was good for us. Mission 2. But overall, it's um, a minute. Besides having inexcusable attribute clash, I know it's not. Not even trying to. Okay. So not a good idea to go into the scenery either. Um, not even trying to make you know like the main character a sprite or anything like that. They've just done a direct spectrum port. But that doesn't mean it's a bad game. And back in the day, having to press up to jump can be a pain sometimes. I'll wait this time. Right. Oops. Okay, so we kill something by landing on it. This is a door. Yes, there we go. Now, yeah, what are these suits up here? No, you can't land on those. No. It's not sure what you can interact with and what you can't. Can. Oh, here we go, Here's something anyway. So I've got the next thing. Disconcerting not being able to um, shoot anything. So what's this do? Just look pretty for scenery. 
Now we've come out on the surface in a different spot. Run out of something, and we're dead. Okay, uh, since I've got a lot of games to get through, I don't really have time to work out how to play the whole game. But overall, it looks interesting enough to have a bit of a go at and uh, try and work out what the hell I'm supposed to do. Um, and shows, you know, Spectrum games can be caught, could be ported quite fine to MSX, and most of them were laser ports. All right, let's try the next game. Right, here we go with Vidison Monty. Another one from German Graphics, so bound to be a straight um, spectrum port, basically. But it looks good so far, and it is a pretty damn good original game. Um, okay. So, whoops, it's a pixel perfect. Uh, platformer. Whoops. Ah. Ah. Great. Nope. Yep. Yeah, there we go. Pick that up. Can't pick that up. Okay, you can climb vines. Ah, can't go in the water. Let's wait for that guy to get out of the way. Lower down the bone. There we go. Oof, that was close. So we get a new anthem per screen. Onto the vines. Let's see if you can get that thing. Ah, turn this back to the start. Distance you fall doesn't seem to hurt yourself, or hurt you too much. I'm not taking all that. Hit that lava. can come with a fair bit of frustration sometimes. E, so yeah, jump to the vine. And we've managed to save ourselves this time. Okay, that's an interesting thing. I don't know how I did it. We've got solid bottom now. E! There we go, that gives us money, he sees. So they're basically the things we need to collect. I'm going to jump to go up through the platform. So it's just a matter of these ones getting used to the controls. I don't know how you're supposed to. Oh, a little finicky. Seem to be able to fall however far you want. Now, how do I get out of here? <laughs> Oops. Oh. And I need to figure out how I actually do that spinning rebound jump, I think. 
because to get up to the next screen, you can just hold the button down without doing any movement. Oops. Yeah, okay. So various objects to collect, and we can climb. Whoops, ah, I lost my last life. Um, yeah, so similar to Manic Miner, um, base games can be a little bit frustrating, especially if you haven't played them for some time. Um, but a very good one in if you you know if you're into those sort of games. Of course, it is just a direct Spectrum port, but as you can see, MSX does a decent enough job at that. Just a real pity that they didn't, as usual, my comment this is they didn't at least replace the main um, character with a proper hardware sprite. But anyway, let's try our next game. Okay, I've got very low expectations of this, um, so if it's not crap or absolute bollocks, I'll be pleasantly surprised because most of the titles that Spectre Video decided to launch with their quickly um, uh, fitted out uh, MSX computer, which was the 728, were absolute rubbish. Um, they had more time with the 738, that came out later, um, and um, yeah, by then it's all their act out. But these titles they released, they quickly knocked together for the release of the um, 728. Um, yeah, seriously, don't have high expectations. Let's go. Okay. What this has got to do with? What does this sub? Oh, at least we've got a reasonably rapid rate of fire. So oxygen is slowly going down. to death. This could be very well be a control basic title, but it's better than expected. The attack buttons are a bit mean, but you do have a bit of a rapid ah. detections a bit want. I don't know how you get extra oxygen. I don't know what you're supposed to do. Having to stick to this corner. Goodness, that collision deck is bad. You need to leave a leeway on your left hand side of considerable margin. Ah! We're going to be us done. Okay. So there we go. Uh, that was I've got the name of it now. Sea uh, Hunter, um, a crappy early release, early release title for the for the um, Spectre Video MSX machines. Um, yeah, good for a quick play. Uh, would be very disappointed if I paid decent money for that though. So, all right, let's try the next title. All right, here we go with Train Tour. It's another specky conversion. Okay. I'll grab a hamburger or something. Okay. And it's a developer who believed in psychism. Attribute clash. Uh, no attempt to make anything sprite based in the conversion. Okay, so that fills our oxygen. Oh, the name died. There was another body shaft there. I 
doesn't look too bad. Let's try and go and have a look down here. Oh, no, computer terminal. So the idea is we've got to find all these terminals everywhere, obviously. And health is on the right hand side. And we also have oxygen as well. And I'm not ticking down. Lots of hits there. Trooper, huh? Well, that doesn't look too bad. Um, I would play that one some more. Uh, once again, most of these tape based games were pretty much rushed ports from the Spectrum. Um, and But at the time, uh, these games were a lot cheaper than the cartridge games. Of course, the cartridge games are better, but the cartridge games would have retailed back then for close to 100 Australian dollars. Um, whereas these, even though they were imported from the UK, we probably paid $30 for these, even though they were a lot less um, over in the UK. Um, even like 99 pence ones I know sold, the well, people who imported them sold them for at least 10 or $15 over here. But they were games and, um, you know, games for a system that we could, have, that we could afford that then. So I ended up with quite a few tape games in my library. Alright, let's have a quick look at um, a couple of those Spectre video items and um, that'll make a video. Alright, well that'll do for this video, it's probably long enough. Um, thank you all for watching, thanks to all my subscribers and I'll catch you next time.